Hello everyone. My name is Jamin Tanna. Today I'm going to talk about uh, my experience with creating autonomous AI agents using um, Langchain, for example, and the agent types in the Langchain. So let me start sharing my screen. Yeah, so what are we talking about? We are talking about um, complex, which is fast thinking, the NLP, the chat GPTs of the world, that they have solved the problem versus the problem statements of complicatedness. For example, if I have some boundary conditions, like the one given over here, eight people, board a half empty bus and then I have a lot of conditions with seats and people coming in and coming out. Um, uh, how many seats are empty when all passengers are seated, for example, right? So that, that, that's more of a, a, a complicated approach on which the agent, autonomous agents come into the play, right? Now, very briefly speaking about what does the agent do? So agents take the action, uh, get the observation out of the action, then they think on what they need to do as a next step and for every thought then they prompt uh, to the either the gpts of the world or from the tool set uh, called the internal functions or do a google search or any other search on wikipedia etc all right and they they continue doing that until they finally solve the problem and give us the final outcome so uh, regular llm and uh, uh, prompting is where you keep human keeps prompting and finding finds out information like summarization etc here, the agent decides based on the action, all the steps that they need to do, which is the agent would think. And for each of the steps, either prompt a GPT or do a Google search or do an internal uh, DB search, et cetera, right? So these tools, it identifies from the entire tool set what it needs to do, right? So we have functions and chains, which are part of the tools. We have large language models set up. And based on that, you can have intermediate scratch pads, memory-based agents to keep the context alive and you give it a work, wait for some time, you get the outcome, all right? So let's look at one small example that I worked on. I had an internal document, right? Um, which is a resume of F. Luke, right? Uh, and there you see we have a certain education background and then professional summary uh, and et cetera, information, all right? And in my coding, what I've done is that for internal lookup of uh, for a human in terms of education, work experience, in the tool set I have mentioned, uh, the tool should be the vector DB generated out of the Langchain LLM model. And for everything else, go ahead and do uh, either the Google search or the chat GPT, right? So that's the tool set formation that I have. I don't hard code the rules. I just tell this is the tools. The agent should figure out on its own uh, which tools to be used to do what steps, right? And then you see, I give it, give it a work. So I say, A. What are the details of F. Luke education? Which city did she study? Which, what was the period of her study? And then I gave something random saying, okay, what was the weather condition during the period of F. Luke study? And what is the weather condition there as of now, right? So there are a lot of asks that I have in terms of questions around these things, right? Now, of course, you cannot take just this as one prompt and give it to a chat GPT. Uh, the tokenization would burn out, but the cyclic research work um, uh, is something that an agent can do because some of this prompt even might fail and the, the agent needs to know what to do as a next step. And let's look at very interesting thing. I just logged the entire outcome and you see um, I need to find details of FLOOC education, including the city she studied in, the period of her study, the weather when she studied, and the current weather. And see, this is this is the construct of thinking that based on this input of the user, my input, the agent figures out, right? And for Everything it decides now the next step, which is, hey, I need to know F Luke education and I'm going to go to the resume store. That's the tool I'm going to use, right? For example, and then it does, I've logged in a lot of intermediate state, it does a lot of other observations and then says, okay, now I know it's Queens, New York, and I need to know the weather from 2010 to 2014 because that is where uh, F Luke studied there. And the tool is search. So, search API I have consumed. So, the agent goes and finds out, okay, uh, during that, uh, time I need to find the weather right and the they would find the weather in terms of okay degree um, humidity etc and then the next step is I want to find current weather that's what agent decided on its own and then finally it tells okay after doing all of these things I have finally found the final answer right and I can keep the amount of iterations I want to allow because if for some complicated work it might end up consuming a lot of your chat GPT, the API etc which will consume a lot of billing, right? So 
in this case, it was a simpler one. So it did my few iterations and I found out saying F look studied at uh, State University in New York, Queens, 2010 to 2014, whether during her study was so and so and the current weather is so and so, right? So now you can imagine the things that you can do with it. You can have your local documentation store. You can have your restricted um, internet searches. You want to only go to Wikipedia. You only want to go to a Google EN or US. Um, or you only want to go to a national site of so-and-so uh, for certain amounts of tasks. Well, you can also have calculator engines which are programmatically powered by your own code. Or you could also have functions which does API internal legacy call, calls on certain constructs that an agent might need, right? And then the entire outcome comes out where an agent would think, convert the prompts for every step, decide which tools to use. Once the outcome of the tool comes, then execute the next step and try and solve the entire problem. This is one just example of an autonomous um, uh, AI agent in which you can combine all of this power and go beyond and giving complicated work and get the entire outcome that you desire. Imagine, and this could be the next step where you have multiple agents with conflicting KPIs working together on a complicated scenario and then churning you out the final outcome. Hey, I want to be in Bangalore for one day. What are the best places I can go? This is my budget constraint. These are my time constraints. These are my transportation constraints. You can have all of these different agents working together, a financial agent, a traveling optimizer agent, the best vacation spot agents, together with each other, discuss and find out the final outcome that you need and present it to you. This is where the autonomous AI, agent AI powers goes. And with APIs like Langchain and others, where it's becoming a democracy, a democracy in terms of getting this power in your hand to build layers on top of it and generate value, right? I hope all of you liked it. Waiting your feedback and comments on Thank you very much.